Hello and welcome. My name is Aurora and today I'm going to take you through um, my prep poses to help with my headstand practice. Now headstand is a very advanced pose. It takes a lot of core strength, it takes a lot of strength in um, uh, your neck as well. So proceed with caution. If you have anything going on with your neck or spine, skip it. There's so many other awesome poses out there. But if you don't, I'll show you the progression that I go through when um, preparing and building up my strength for headstand. So first of all, the pose I want you to become really familiar with is dolphin pose. So bring your forearms to your mat, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, and come into dolphin pose. If dolphin pose is new to you, you can play with this pose for a while. For the next iteration, drop your knees down for just a minute. This time, keep your forearms exactly where they were for dolphin pose, but now try interlacing all 10 fingers. You're gonna place your head to the mat and you're gonna cradle the very top of your head with your cupped hands. Feet are in the same position, straighten your legs. Now, you can work on this part of the pose for quite some time, several weeks, several months, um, whatever it takes. And start really slowly, especially if you're new to the practice. Start by holding this pose for 10 seconds maybe, building up to 20 seconds, 30 seconds, maybe even a minute or more. But you know, do so over several weeks. Maybe once you start to build strength, you can start to lift one leg or the other, bending your knee in, and just kind of playing with your balance in that way. Now already that's gonna start hitting and building up some of the muscles that we need for this practice. So the next thing that I want you to do, you're gonna keep your hands clasped, place your head where it was, tuck your toes, straighten your legs, and then maybe start to play with balance. Maybe lifting one leg and then the other. You can also do this around the safety of a wall if that makes you feel more confident. It's a great way to practice balance poses. And maybe one day you find that you can get both knees off the mat so that you're floating in an egg shape. That maybe all the further you go and maybe you only hold it for a moment, but that's an another step in our progression. Finally, cradle your head, tuck your toes, straighten your knees, start to lift with the balance, and maybe begin to play with straightening one leg, straightening the other, maybe letting them fall back and forward, until finally, you can extend both up in a super strong line. Release down. So that's one way to progress through headstand. Now, um, this is the way I learned to get into headstand. However, um, when I went through a, one of my yoga trainings, um, there I, I ran into a very different philosophy and that was that you should never start with the interlaced hands and instead you should start by supporting your headstand with bent arms. In this way you would do the same thing. Start with straight legs, work on shifting the balance, maybe bending one knee up or the other. Instead of that egg shape, we'd make more of a barrel shape. This is also one, you know, if you've practiced crow, this feels very similar, but your head's on the floor. Maybe you've ended up in this pose without meaning to. And from there, you work on lifting. 
one leg, and maybe both. release. So those are two approaches to headstand. Now again, this is not something that you should run out and um, do if you're just starting yoga practice. But those steps that I showed you, practicing dolphin, working on coming into that um, egg balance pose, you know, small things like that over several weeks with a consistent practice can get you in that headstand pose, strengthening, lengthening, and doing all those, getting all those wonderful benefits from going upside down. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out, and I will see you all soon.